Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first part of The Sims 2 Open for Business. I am beyond excited for this LP and it's basically my way of saying thank you. I, in the past, have done different videos for when we hit 1,000 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, etc. And recently we just hit 3,000 and I wanted to do something special for you guys for us hitting that milestone. I wanted to bring something new to my channel. So instead of doing like a face reveal or a Q&A, I decided to bring a brand new LP. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys are totally cool with it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for over 3,000 subscribers. That's so freaking awesome and I am just so grateful for it. So thank you. So... I wanted to do The Sims 2, and I actually put a poll on Twitter saying, hey, um, these are some of my favorite Sims 2 expansion packs. Let me know which one is your favorite. And the majority voted for Open for Business, which is one of my top favorite ones as well. So I was so excited. I'm like, yes, this is what we are doing. And I just really wanted you guys to be like a part of this LP and just be a part of making the decisions. I love when you guys give you guys this input. And so I wanted to do something that you guys wanted. I actually, this is basically a surprise LP because I did not tell anyone that I would be doing a new LP. So surprise, this is, this, here we are. This is what we're doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, if you are new to my channel, this is your first part or video of mine that you've seen. Hey, I'm Girl Meets Pixels, also known as Brittany, so you can call me Girl Meets Pixels, Brittany, Brit, I don't really care. Um, but welcome to the family. Hopefully you subscribe so you can see more videos just like this. And yeah, anyways, um, I've been making YouTube videos for a little bit over a year now, um, but really, really got into it like half a year ago. So um, haven't been doing it too long and I just am so thankful for hitting 3,000 subscribers. I make Sims videos and a lot of you guys really like that and I hope in the future to get more into other games as well. So anyways, yeah, so this is The Sims 2 Open for Business. We are in the town of Blue Water Village as you can see and this is the town that actually came with open for business. It's more of a shopping district. It is a sub neighborhood. We are in uh, Pleasant View overall, but this is uh, Pleasant View's Blue Water Village shopping district. So there's a bunch of, well, if I can speak guys, there's a bunch of different um, places to go shopping and to go to different clubs and fun stuff like that. There's some lots that are open and you can buy them so you can start your own business. But for this, we are going to go meet the Harding family, and you guys are going to get to know them, and yes, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm like super excited for this. <laughs> like I have been, I've had this idea in my brain for like the past couple weeks, and like I've just been wanting to record this and just share it with you guys because I'm super excited. So I decided why not do like um, a Saturday full of different videos and kind of spam you guys with them and why not give a surprise video too? Why not? Um, so we are in this cute like little industrial loft kind of house. Very industrial and cute. Kind of um, on the outskirts of the town. The town center is more like over here and we're kind of more on the outskirts which is fine. Good place to start a business. Kind of grow it out. But I am going to start with these two lovely ladies right here. So first off, we have Emma Harding. If I could get like a picture. There we go. Not a picture, like a better view. So this is Emma Harding. She has gray eyes and blonde hair. Whoops. And they are actually twins, these two. Um, but they're fraternal. They have some minor differences in their face. And they have different eye colors. And obviously, they have very different personalities. Um... Sorry, like I have not played The Sims 2 in a couple of years. Like literally this is my first time playing The Sims 2 in forever. My little brother actually, I posted on Twitter, Twitter like last week. Um, my little brother, he wanted to play Sims 2 and so I set it up and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to play Sims 2. That looks like so much fun. <laughs> um, anyways, anyways, so if my controlling sucks, I just need to get back into it, you know? Anyways, so Emma here is a more serious Sim, more serious sister. She has a fortune aspiration and she just wants to make money. And they both grew up in um, a family that owned their own restaurant. 
and they wanted, their family was very big on entrepreneurial spirit and having something that is yours, building up from the ground up and just like very hardworking people. That's what their parents were. And it was just them four. And they had a really happy childhood. The sisters got along decently well. I mean, as well as sisters can get along. And they just, they had a good life. They had a good growing up. But now it's time for them to venture out of the house. They are adults now and they want, you know, the kind of same experience. They want to start their own business. Maybe not exactly a restaurant, but they want to start their own business and build something from the ground up that is theirs, that they own. So they're twins and they've done almost basically everything in their lives together. So why not start their own business together? So Emma here is a lot more of the focus sim. She's very good with money and very good with um, numbers, stuff like that. <laughs> Apparently they have a negative six relationship. Um, whatever. Anyway, so she is a cancer sign. Uh, granted, I went based off of personality. So obviously, even though they're twins, they're not going to have the same astrological sign, which annoys the heck out of me, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, anyway, so she's a cancer sign. There's nothing extreme about cancers. They are very balanced. They can also be very challengeable or changeable, which can be good or bad, depending on the situation. So she's very neat, a little bit more on the shy side, not super outgoing. She is very active and she's a lot more serious and she's you know, decently nice. She can be a little grouchy at times. And um, her interests, she's like in, really into politics, money, um, culture and fashion, not really into toys or weather um, or sports or paranormal um, or animals. How do you, <laughs> how do you not like animals? Like for real though, girl. Um, she's very much into work. That's like the biggest thing. She is a very hard working sim. And that's something that is very big to her. She doesn't like to joke around. She's like, this is work. We are serious. But I mean, at the same time, she, when she's off of work, she can go and have a good time. You know, it's not that hard for her to have a good time. Obviously, we don't know her hobby yet. And her turn-ons are being a hard worker. So she wants a guy that, you know, is a hard worker or a girl. I don't know. Um, and she wants someone that's a great cook. And her turnoff is fatness. Just because she's a very active sim and she, to her, she thinks that's being lazy or whatever. When maybe in reality, they're not that lazy. But that's just something that she's not attracted to. So this is Emma, the older twin, the more responsible twin. But this isn't like one of those rebel and super sweet girl twins. That's not how the story is going. Okay, so over here we have Ella. And she just um, has blonde hair as well, but it's more in like this updo with some bangs. And I'm like in love with this hairstyle, by the way. <laughs> and whoops, I wish I could like control this better. Anyways, so she has light blue eyes instead of the gray. And they have the same skin tone, I think. And then this is her outfit. It is from H&M, the H&M expansion pack. Heck yes, holla for H&M. I used to work there, so <laughs> cute clothes, by the way. Love that place. Um, anyways, Ella is more family-oriented. She likes to um, be around kids. She loves being with kids, and she can't wait to have some in the future. And she actually wants to grow old and reach her golden anniversary with her spouse. So she's very much more into finding the love of her life. She's a little bit of a hopeless romantic and sometimes is a little more daydreamy and not as focused as Emma but she still can work very hard she is a very good worker and wants to start this business with her sister because what could be better you know she doesn't really see herself doing other any other career besides owning her own business so even though she can kind of drift off and daydream a bit she still um, is a very good worker very hard worker so she is an Aquarius. She's friendly and amusing. Aquarians are excellent companions. Being well-balanced in other areas helps to make them one of the most agreeable signs. So she kind of is gets along better with everyone else than maybe Emma does. So um, maybe Emma's going to be more of the person working behind the scenes for the business while em or Ella is the face of the business. She's the one going and making the sales and talking with people. Uh, she's not as neat, but she is very outgoing, which would really help her in cells. Um, she's not like super lazy, but she's not super active either. She's a little bit more playful and she's pretty nice. So that's Ella. And then she also is very much into entertainment and food and culture. I don't know why she's into crime, but whatever. <laughs> um, she's not really into politics or money as 
her sister is. She really actually likes sports and traveling. Work is not so much of a priority. School, not so much. Um, apparently, these girls don't like animals. I just don't understand. I don't really, I don't understand. <laughs> and then obviously, we don't know her hobby yet. Um, and her turn-ons are red hair and good at cleaning because she's not that great at cleaning. And her turn-off is stinkiness. So she's a little bit more superficial with what she wants in a person, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. It's not horrible to be superficial. Um, but yeah, so that's Ella. They're very different, but they also have their similarities. Apparently they both don't like animals, so I guess they won't be getting a pet. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You have to be freaking weird. Um, but yeah, so that's that is them i wanted to do um instead of like an all-in-one lp i wanted to do um a more of an expansion pack focused lp just because i feel like the sims 2 expansion packs were so detailed and had so many great qualities that came with them that it was for me it'd be really hard to focus on a, in an all-in-one on everything i feel like it's just too much to focus on and i would just be more focused on the family and i kind of wanted to go based off other expansion packs. So obviously this is gonna be open for business, so we're gonna focus on opening businesses. Of course, there's still gonna be seasons and maybe they'll get into some other hobbies and stuff like free time. But the main focus here is going to be open for business aspects of the gameplay. Um, hopefully, maybe if you guys like this in the future, we can do other expansion packs like a university one and um, nightlife and all that fun stuff. So. Yes. Anyways, let me show you the house real quick. It is all gutted. I gutted it. Um, so that's why they have 10,000 simoleons. So I will definitely go in by the next part and have it all kind of kind of decorated. Um, anyways, I kind of showed earlier. I need to fix the windows. They're all like super weird because I had to change stuff up. This used to be all open and I wanted to section off like the business part. So this right here is going to be their starting business area. It's a pretty big area to work with. You know, it's actually not that bad. I need to go and fix some things, obviously. But for starting off, it's not a bad space. I wanted to do a home business because they did not have the money to buy another plot of land uh, along with having this house. So I figured starting from home, not bad. Maybe eventually someday they can branch out and expand. That's the goal. So this right here is a shop area. There's gonna be obviously two entrances. I didn't want them to have to like in, go through the store to get to their house. That was just weird. So yeah, um, it might confuse some Sims because I don't think I can set like the front door, but I can lock, so that will help. Anyways, over here is their living area. I think I'll put like kitchen maybe here and dining area and then like TV and whatnot over here, like a little bit, I don't know. But they do have this really cool patio and I think I'll be using that as well. And then there's some spiral stairs I added in just to save some space. Yeah, as you see, there's like paint weirdness going on. Um, so you come up the stairs and it's just like a one bedroom. I mean, they're twin sisters. They shared a womb they can share a room. So that's what they're gonna be doing. <laughs> just for now, temporarily. And then, whoops. Oh my gosh, like I cannot control on here. Um, <clears throat> Anyways, and then they have a bathroom up here. Sorry, my, my voice is going out. Um, I think that's a little better. I'm like losing my voice now. Um, anyways, yeah, so you may be thinking to yourself, wait, this is an open for business LP, but we haven't even discussed what business they're running. And that is because I want you guys to choose what business they're going to do. So I am going to put a poll or a link to a poll down below in the description bar and you guys can go vote. So by the next part, we'll know what uh, business we're going to run. So you guys can go vote, make sure you get your votes in. It won't be going up for long. It'll probably be for like two days or so. So make sure to go in and vote. I'll have um, a couple different options of different businesses I think would be really fun to run. And so you guys get to decide what business these girls are going to run. I think, I think that's a good idea. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I think, that, I don't know, I like having choices and I want you guys to have choices and not just be like watching me do what I wanna do. I wanna include you guys in it. So I think you guys should go and vote uh, so that by the next part I can get their business set up and we can start going. Uh, I mean, obviously you kinda saw like their interests. Not that it really is gonna help much because they both have very different interests. Um, obviously we're not gonna run a pet store because they both hate pets, so that's not happening. 
Um, which sucks because I actually love running pet stores. That was like one of my favorite things. That and like bakeries and restaurants, those are fun. Um, I think a restaurant, I mean, a restaurant could work maybe. I don't know. Um, I'll put a couple different options in a poll of things I think would be really fun to play. And you guys get to go vote on it. So don't forget to do that uh, so you can give your input on what you want to do. Um, if there's something in the poll that um, isn't something that you'd like to do, comment it down below. Let me know. Be like, hey, Brittany, I think this would be a better idea than the ones you suggested. Just, you know, let me know. But um, yeah, so that's it for this part. I know it was just a lot of me talking. I didn't want to start playing because I can't really do anything yet because I want to know what business we're going to run first. Um, so yeah, so make sure to go vote down below and... I think that's it. But thank you guys so much for 3,000, over 3,000 subscribers. I think we're almost to 3,300, I think, which is crazy awesome. So thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this LP. I know I am. And I cannot wait to play with these um, twins. They're so cute. Like, they're adorable. Like, oh, so cute. So I can't wait to start a business. I think this is going to be so much fun. I missed The Sims 2. I haven't played it in years. And I I'm really excited to be bringing it to my channel because it was, it is literally my favorite Sims game ever, ever. I played this for so long. It's just one of my favorites. So anyways, make sure to vote down below and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my links to the side. I have my Twitter where I ramble all day. And I also have my other YouTube channel where I make beauty and fashion videos. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.